and welcome back to another aqua fitness workout with sarah and megan <laughs> um, we're going to start off with a quick little walk on the spot or a run on the spot just start off warming up a little bit sarah right now is doing my workout great we're going to pick it up a little bit for a run we just want to get the blood flowing get our heart rates up a little bit maybe start sweating a little bit all right and we're going to transition to what's called a soccer step so sarah is going to be bringing her foot up opening the inner foot towards her knee taking it nice and easy if you've never done this before if you have you feel comfortable with this movement you can pick it up into what's called a soccer run good work we're gonna go for about 20 more seconds Guys are doing awesome. Keep up the good work. And in three, two, one, we're going to transition into a squat shuffle. So Sarah's going to go down into a squat and she's just going to walk from side to side and going back. Obviously, if you have a lot more room, you're going to go a little bit further. If Sarah went any further, she would end up in the pool. <laughs> All right, 10 more seconds, guys. And in three, two, and one. Good work. So again, if you guys want to repeat that, you can. We're going to go into our second round. So this is called the side to side step. It's also called skaters. So you guys ever done skaters before? You're going to go on one foot and putting your weight on the one foot. You can use your back foot for some uh, stability if you need to. Taking it nice and easy, bending that front leg just slightly. Make sure your knee is not going over uh, your toes. Once you've got the movement, if you feel comfortable, you can pick up the pace. You can even lift your back foot if you have a lot of stability and only tap it or not. Good. And if you even want to, you can touch the floor or reaching for the floor just makes you squat down just that slightly bit more. And we're going to go for another 15 seconds, guys. You guys are doing awesome. Look at her switching positions. <laughs> All right, good job. And now we're going to move on to calf raises. So we're staying in a stationary position and we're just going up on our toes. Nice and easy. We're not going too fast with this. You can even pause at the, at the tip of your toes at the top and then slowly bring yourself back down. Working your calf muscles. We're going to go for another 15 seconds. Hope we're getting your heart pumping a little bit, guys. You guys are doing great. All righty. So the next exercise is going to be what's called a sumo squat. So you're going to put your feet um, apart a little bit wider than a normal squat and point your toes um, outwards as well. And then when you go down, you're going to squat and you should feel a little bit of a tug um, in between your thighs or closer to your groin. It's going to work your inner thighs. Good job. We have 20 more seconds. Making sure that we're doing proper breathing as well, guys. And in three, two, one. We're going to start with some upper body. So we're going to start off with some wall push offs. Sarah has her chair right there that she's going to use for some stability. Uh, a wall is even more stable. So if you guys want to put your hands up against the wall, you can. She's going to push your feet back. And whenever she's ready, she's going to start dipping and doing some push ups. 
Now again, you're gonna put your feet back until you feel comfortable. Don't overextend your feet. Uh, it gets harder the farther back you go. You can also do a wider stance for more stability. 10 more seconds. And in three, two, one. We have two five pound weights now, guys. Again, if you guys don't have any weights at home, you're more than welcome to use things like soup cans or other inanimate objects around your house that you feel comfortable lifting. Safety first when you guys lift. Don't uh, go too heavy because we will be later on lifting above our heads. Right now, we're going to work on our tricep press. So Sarah is going to be lifting above her head for this. She's going two at a time above her head. Uh, elbows are in close to her head. Uh, really emphasizing the triceps here, going back and above. Nice and easy, not too fast. If you have uh, difficulty with that movement at all, Sarah's going to bend by the waist and do uh, a similar movement that also emphasizes your triceps. Again, she's not moving uh, her shoulder to her elbow at all. That's staying stationary. She's moving from her elbow to her hand backwards and forwards nice and easy. Working out her triceps. Uh, you could also doing it standing up. It's a little bit easier. Uh, if you are bending over, guys, just make sure that your stomach is nice and tight. Uh, your core is nice and tight and your back is strong and you're bending uh, from your hips and not your back, okay? Good work. Okay, guys, we're now gonna transition into what's called a curl press. So Sarah still has her two five pound weights. She's going to be curling them up to her chest and pushing above her head. Nice and easy, guys. Don't go too fast for this. Should be a nice fluid movement. Good work. Making sure we're still breathing, guys. We're gonna go for another 15 seconds. And in five, four, three, two, one. Good work today, Sarah. Good work, everyone at home.